Hi everybody, I'm PJ with Princess Craft in Round Rock, Texas. Today I'm going to show you around the 2020 A-Liner LXE. I love this trailer because it's only 15 feet long. The dry weight on it is $17.95. Even with options, it's going to be under $2,000. And it has a huge bed, almost a king size bed in it, and a toilet and shower. I love this trailer, so if you want to see the details, how it works, how it folds down, fits in your garage, stay tuned. We're going to get started. Wow, I love these 12 foot box A-liners. The Ranger 12, the LXE, they're only 12 foot inside, but with an eight foot peak and windows all the way around, it feels so spacious in here. It's just amazing to have a trailer that feels this big and it folds up and fits in your garage. All right, we're gonna start right back here. So this is the sofa area. Now, this also folds down to a bed. So when you fold this out, it could actually be a 76 by 54 inch bed, slightly smaller than a queen, and you can leave two facing seats with the table in between at the end. So you've got the dinette and the bed. So making the bed is simple. You just remove these cushions and you slide this panel out until all the cushions lay down that's going to be the first option if you wanted to leave the seating up. If you'd like the larger bed, the table just drops right here on this ledge. You pull these cushions over. You've got some extra back cushions that fit right in here. And that makes the 76 by 76 inch bed. Great feature. All right. Well, while we're on this side, let's take a look at the skylight. Now these are Lexan skylights. And you do have an option on this side to have a dormer, which means it is an extra piece that pops up to give you more headroom. Yeah, this one feels a little tight. Your head can actually fit in the skylight. I love the view with this. It's Lexan, so it's extremely durable. You really don't have to worry about it getting damaged easily. There's a blackout shade that pulls up from the bottom here. And if you got the dormer, it's going to open up the headspace on this side. Now on the LXE, the rear dormer where we're sitting now can actually have canvas sides or it could be a hard dormer. So it's got hard sides just like the A-liner. Both of those are an option. This one does not have the rear dormer on it, but something you might want to consider. Another feature you'll see back here is underneath you have a cabinet that actually is a beautiful pull-out drawer. Drawers are so nice. They give you extra storage, but they're so easy to access. This one is about 10 inches deep, so you've got lots of space in here. If you see these two vents on both sides, you'll know that this one has a Cool Cat air conditioner. Now the Cool Cat is an 11,000 BTU air conditioner. It also is a heat pump. It's actually located underneath the seat on the passenger side and it vents to the outside. You'll see the grill. I'll point it out when we're going around the outside. If you wanted the window air conditioner, it's a 6,000 BTU air conditioner that will be mounted on the side right here and it actually will stick out about 10 inches on the side of the camper. We sell a lot of those. They're really not scary to drive. People are kind of worried about something sticking out. It is a, a 6,000 BTU air conditioner, so it's not as strong as the Cool Cat, and it doesn't have the heat pump feature. It is quite a bit less expensive, so that's one reason people opt for it. You actually have Dometic controls down here 
for the air conditioner, the heat pump, and the furnace. They're kind of out of the way here. I like that because you don't want a lot of wires and connections going up into the walls. On the other side, there's a 110 plug right here. So that's going to give you access to plug in maybe a computer, whatever you need. The freestanding table can sit either in front of the sofa or between the seats, whichever one works best for you. The windows open on both sides so you can get a nice cross breeze. I love the corner windows. You've got three corner windows on this trailer. They just open up the space and make it feel so big. So this end is really the comfy side. It, it turns into a bed or a bed and a dinette. Either way, let's take a look at the other side of the trailer. So on the other side of your A-liner, you've got the larger dormer area, so it's easy to stand up in. Now this dormer is an option on a lot of trailers, but it's standard in the LXE because you'll need it to set up the bathroom. We'll show you that in just a minute. Let's come back over here. You do have a little storage compartment right here. Underneath this seat and on the other side, the converter with the breakers and fuses in the front. And you've got a 12 volt plug in and a cable connection in case you'd like to set up a TV right up here on the counter. Your LP carbon monoxide detector is down here near the floor, so it's, uh, it's keeping you safe and it's out of the way. All right, as you come into the kitchen, I love the big counter space here. Uh, it's great for a working area, for putting the TV, any extra things that you need right here on the top. This is a three cubic foot refrigerator. It actually is a three-way, so it's going to be running off gas, uh, the, the 110 electricity, or the 12 volt battery. Let's take a look inside. This has the shelves on the door, but it also has a pull down freezer in the top. There you go. That's a lot of refrigerator for this little space. The next thing you'll see, the microwave, which is standard on this. You have the forced air furnace underneath that and the two burner right above. Now this two burner also just folds up and closes down. When you're not using it, you've got a nice flat surface up here. Easy to use for counter space. There is a, a sink on the end. Now the faucet comes up and down, and what that is for is, of course, if you're folding this down, you need everything to be below the hinge. This is a good place to talk to you about why A-liners are so great. You know, they've been making these for 35 years, and I love the fact that there's no cables, no winches, none of that stuff that wears out on a standard pop-up trailer. There is four steel springs in the corner, the piano hinges, everything folds down, and two bungee cords on the top that hold it together. Just so little maintenance on this, it's unbelievable. I just love the simplicity and the ease of use of this trailer. Now, you'll notice in the dormer, there is a glass window behind me. It does open, and that is only in the hard dormer. If you've got a soft dormer on the other side, it's going to actually have a big zipper window that will take up the majority of that back panel. If you get a hard dormer in the back, it will have a small window in it, just like this. All right, now let's get to the best part, the bathroom area right here. There's a rail up here. Now we didn't hang the shower curtain, but the shower curtain hangs right on that rail so you can pull it around to keep all the water inside the shower. Now this panel just lifts right up and you take this strap, run it through, and it just Velcros really easily like that. Simple to put up that back wall of the toilet and shower. The curtain can cover the rest of the area for you. And if you look in here, um, they use a Tetford cassette toilet. Now this Tetford cassette toilet has about a five gallon tank it holds its own fresh water, so it's very simple to use. A lot of people are afraid of cassette toilets. I am a huge fan because 
yeah, you can't go to a dump station and dump it with a traditional sewer hose, but I think it's even easier because you just slide out that five gallon tank and dump it in the restroom. You can dump it at home, wherever you would like. And you know, it, it's so easy and there's nothing that gets any dirtier than working at a dump station trying to dump with a sewer hose. So easy. I'll show you that on the outside exactly how that works, but don't quit watching just because it's a cassette toilet. If you're not sure how they work, we'll be showing you. Okay, over here you can see the shower head, and of course we don't have it connected here because it doesn't come all put together. We should have done that. Connect that shower right here. It is a handheld that actually you can use to shower off. It has an on-off switch on it, and then you just put it right down here inside the shower and open the curtain, fold this panel down, and you've got open space again. I love the way you can just undo this Velcro. It's not a huge hassle. And this whole thing just comes right down. You know, there's a lot of folks who may have a few tubs of bathroom items that they might actually store in the bottom of this shower or toilet area and take it out when they're not using it real simple to use. There is some space up here. I want to get a shot of that because that is great storage. Can you get to that? You know, without seeing it, there's no way I can explain to you how open this feels. Um, if you've watched my videos, you know that I'm five foot tall. So there's an awful lot of headroom for me, but for even with somebody who's six foot tall, you're going to be pretty comfortable if you've got the hard dormers. All right, well, I think I covered all the basics in here. Let's go outside and just take a look around and then we'll show you how it folds up and down. Let's go. The outside of this A-Liner LXE, it actually, this one is white with the black trim. There is an option to get a gray with the black trim if you like that color better. I love the big fat handle getting in. There is only one step on this. Now this trailer does not have the off-road package. And that means this is the standard package with aluminum wheels, the 13 inch tires, and the 2,500 pound axle. It is a rubber torsion axle, makes it very smooth ride. If you got the off-road package option, the trailer raises up about four inches. The tire goes from a 13 to a 14, and the axle actually upgrades from a 2,500 to a 3,000 pound axle. What a great option, right? Porch light right here. Plugs for any outside lighting or any extra features you wanna add. Now this is the Cool Cat. Remember we talked about the air conditioner that's underneath the seating. So this is the cool cap vent right here, and just above it is a rail that you could use for an outside stove. Now there is a grill option, there's two separate things. There is an inside outside stove, um, and you can buy the stove separately because this unit actually has a built-in stove. Hooks in right here, and you're able to cook outside and connect to the propane outlet right here. There's a grill option also that you can get from A-Liner if you wanted to plug that in right here and use a grill. It has a free stand on it so you don't have to attach to this rail. Got it? A grill or a stove? Both are an option. Alrighty. Now A-Liner does the diamond plate rock guard on the back and on the front. The construction of these is a vacuum bonded laminated uh, fiberglass. So you've got good durability with the fiberglass and the Lexan skylights. Again, super durable. And you'll notice there's no screws along the outside. You don't have all those holes for water to penetrate. Uh, it's, it's just a wonderful process the way it is mounted here. Uh, if you look up, you can also see the bungee cords which is, I mentioned that on the moving parts. That's one of the pieces on an A-liner that, sure, it might need replacing, 
it's only uh, a, a few dollars really and it's super easy to do you can do it in probably 15 minutes even if you're not experienced so don't let that worry you if you need new bungees super easy to do let's look at the back there is a tube here so if you needed to mount anything on the back that's an option stabilizer jacks on all four corners on the a-liner lxe now on this side if you're uh, near a hydrant and you don't want to fill the fresh water tank you hook up right here with the water hose straight to the hydrant this camper does have an 11 gallon fresh water tank on it so that would be filled right here the water heater cable connection in case you're at a park that has cable or you have a satellite a portable satellite usually and then your 30 amp plug-in right here where you'd plug in at the campsite on the back you've got a low point drain and that just helps to drain some of the lines right there makes it very easy coming forward these will be the vents for the refrigerator that th three cubic foot refrigerator has the controls on the front but you do need to vent it in the back the furnace vent is right next to that with another drain outlet right here now this drain outlet is gray water from the sink there is not a gray holding tank so what you would do is you could hook up an adapter right here that goes down to a garden hose uh, and run that out from your campsite um, if you were in a place uh, that allowed that and if you're really careful what goes down your sink uh, what we recommend is uh, putting an adapter on here and going into either a bucket or a small tote tank they make 15 gallon tote tanks that are super easy slide them under just connect it up and then your gray water is right there in a tank that you can roll and dump anywhere very easy to do the outside shower has hot and cold and if you have a portable solar panel one of the suitcase models you can plug that in right here in the front the plug is pretty universal for a couple of different brands and that's going to keep that battery charged if you want to camp off the grid all right in front remember they diamond plate the front and the back i think that's great because going down the road this is going to protect you from any rocks or any debris that gets thrown up on your camper standard is one propane tank it's a 20 uh, standard is you good standard is the 20 pound, 20 pound five, five gallon. gallon now standard on the front is the 20 pound five gallon propane tank there is an option to get two propane tanks if you'd like with the cover so you can always look for that option if you're ordering an a-liner and then the battery goes right in front of that all right I love the porch light right on the front because that allows you actually to be able to see your propane tank at night with a simple switch. You'll notice there's handles on the front. Why? Because A-liners are so light, if you're on a flat surface, you could actually push this around, maneuver it just a little bit to get your hitch on and not have to back up just perfectly. I love that feature. It just makes it really easy to work with. Now remember we talked about the cassette toilet. It's so easy to use. All you do is lift up this bottom tab and the entire thing slides right out. You see that it has wheels on the bottom. The handle extends just like a small suitcase and then you can take it to the dump station where you swivel this out and there's grips on both sides and you can dump it very simple to do now normally of course it would have a cap on there but because it's new it isn't put together yet you notice that the top closes um, on its own when you pull it out so you slide that back you've got to clip the handle back into place and then all you do is slide it back in the slot it is so easy please don't be afraid of the cassette toilet it's really a handy feature, particularly if you want a boondock.
up at the top here is a place to add the fresh water because it holds a couple gallons of fresh water so that you can flush. Really, it's going to work as well as a standard toilet that you find in, a, in an RV. So very simple to use and very simple to clean. Just run a hose through there, dump it again. Of course, you're going to have chemicals in there just like you would in a black tank in a standard trailer. So there's no smell. All right. If you have questions about the cassette toilet, give your dealer a call. Be glad to go through it with you answer any questions that you have. All right, well, I think we've made it around here. Let's show you how this thing folds up. So the first thing is you take the bathroom rail down, just four snaps. Once the rail is down, you simply unlatch the sides, fold it in, and pull down the rear. We'll latch it on the outside. Now before you close the side walls, be sure you flip down the rear cushions because what you need is for everything to be below this hinge. So then you unlatch the interior. I like to start at the back. One latch here and one latch here. As I move to the front of the trailer, I can unlatch the front side, pull this wall down, and this wall is very light. Once I lay it down, there's a leg you open up on this one. You unlatch the front, disconnect the door, and close this side. So now all that's left to do is pull the roof panels down. Now I usually do that with my body weight. I put my arms up and I lean, break it loose, and it actually folds down pretty easily. So once the roof is down, you just clip it and snap it shut. Very simple to do. You have another catch on the other side. And then because we have a rear dormer, you'll have the same thing on the back here. Bring it down, catch it, and snap it closed on both sides. That's pretty simple, right? I love it. This is about 59 inches tall, fits in your garage, super easy to maneuver while you're on your driveway if it's flat. So setting it up, you just do everything backwards. Okay, that's pretty easy, right? The last thing I wanna to talk to you about is the high wind kit. Now there's two kinds of high wind kits. One's a cable and one is a bar that you can use as a lift assist. So the way that works, this is the bar version, of course. You unpin it, swivel it to the other side, drop it in the slot and pin it back right here. Very easy to do if you can give the roof a little bit of a lift when you're starting to open it, you can actually use this bar to push the roof up. It just helps if you don't have as much upper body strength. All right, if you had the cable version, of course, it's simply gonna be a high wind kit. Some people prefer that just because it saves you a few dollars and super easy to use because it's just a cable that swivels over and pins into place. All right, I think we've talked about all of the great features of this A-liner. If we've missed something, please let us know. We'll be glad to answer all your questions. I'm PJ with Princess Craft RV here in Round Rock, Texas. Give us a call, subscribe to our YouTube channel if you wanna see more walkthroughs, and we'll see you next time.